Hi, I'm Stepan from Clear Online Video and welcome to this tutorial on using Adobe Photoshop to enhance black and white footage. Black and white footage is a pretty common effect used in our industry. Whether you're going for an old fashioned look, creating a period piece, or wanting to stylize your footage, this effect can help achieve all of those things. I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop to really fine tune your black and white effect. While Photoshop isn't a video first tool, it does offer some nice features that aren't available in Premiere or After Effects. I really love this one and I'll show you why. Starting with having a video clip already pre-selected, let's go ahead and open it up in Adobe Photoshop. Go to File, then Open, and find your video. When your clip is loaded, you'll see that you have a timeline just like you would see in other video editing software. To the right of that window is a layer panel. Here, you'll want to right click on your video clip and select the Convert to Smart Object choice. This tells Photoshop that you want to make universal changes to your video rather than just one frame. Now we can go ahead and add the black and white filter to our footage. In the Adjustments panel, you'll see a number of choices. Hovering over these gives you a description of what each adjustment can do. We want to use the black and white option in the second row. Once you select it, you will see that the black and white adjustment has been added. And because we made this a smart object, this has been applied to our entire clip. Under the Properties panel is where we can begin to fine tune our video. From the top, you'll see a drop down of preset looks that you can apply. These are nice if you're in a hurry or have a certain look already dialed in. For our purposes, we'll stick with the default setting. We'll cover this hand option in a moment, but continuing on, we have a tint option where we can add an overall color wash to our video. This is a nice option for a sepia tone look. You can select the color by clicking on the square. A color panel appears and you can pick from a huge range of colors. Once we have our color, we can press OK to confirm our selection. Now here comes the cool part. Below our tint button, you can see sliders for each of the individual colors and we can adjust these one by one. Here you have complete creative control and can increase or decrease each of these colors. At any time, you can reset your adjustments by going back to the top of the properties panel and selecting default from the dropdown. Now our footage is back to its original state. Moving on, this effect also gives you an auto option where we can let Photoshop do the work for us. Select the auto button and watch this in action. As you can see, Photoshop has adjusted each of the individual sliders for us. You might be satisfied with this, and I find it useful to compare these numbers to the ones I manually dial in. The last feature I'll demonstrate is my favorite one. Let's reset our adjustment back to default once again. Navigate down to the hand between the arrows button. Select this button, and when you hover over your footage, you'll see an eyedropper icon. This nifty tool allows you to hover over anything in your video and adjust the exact color of that object. You do this by left clicking on the object, holding the left mouse button down, and then dragging the tool to the left or right. You can see that as I'm doing this, the slider for the red color is being adjusted. This is really handy as Photoshop tells me how it is interpreting the color of this exact horse. Now I can adjust each object in my image this same way. Let's move over to the sky and left click, hold, and drag to the right or left. You can see that the cyan slider is now being adjusted as I drag left or right. Finally, I'll go over to the left of my video and do this for the hair on the horse's neck. You can see that it's adjusting my yellow slider and I'm able to manually adjust the highlights in this area. When you're happy with your results, you can export this footage by going to File, Export, and then Render Video. While it may take a little extra time to get your footage into Photoshop, I think it's totally worth it. You can see how powerful a tool like this really is by having the ability to adjust each color individually. Give it a try the next time you're adding a black and white look to your footage, and I guarantee you'll be happy with the results. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my other tutorials on Streaming Media Producer.